Hey everyone, uh, welcome back, welcome back. Oh man, it's a nice day today guys. Really, really sunny, nice. Uh, today's video guys, I wanna talk about mining cryptocurrency off the grid. So I know I never make videos about this. Um, I've had some comments in the past talk, um, ask me if I do mine cryptocurrency off the grid with solar. And I absolutely do. Um, but I really don't make videos about it. But um, if you guys wanna, want more videos about that or whatever uh, let me know and we can go over it um but i want to share with you guys my little mining rig that i've been using for roughly almost one year now okay so let me take you guys into the room and i'll show you guys my little setup i got here so um i am using oh, let me get my chair here um, I use Claymore and I use NiceHash to mine cryptocurrency, guys. Um, normally, I will only use Claymore, um, but for today, I am using um, NiceHash Miner. Uh, so basically, with NiceHash Miner, basically, it'll depending on the type of um, mining rig you have or GPUs and stuff like that, it'll kind of determine which cryptocurrencies to mine. Um, depending on which ones the prices is the highest at the moment, it'll, it'll mine that cryptocurrency, right? Uh, and then what it does is it'll go ahead and um, convert out. So I've had this mining rig running for, I don't know, about 10 minutes, guys. And I started off with zero because I got paid out again. Um, so basically, um, 10 minutes ago, I started up and this was all zero, zero. USD was zero. So as you guys can see now, I have 27 cents. Um it's just, you know, it's adding up, right? So what it does is it'll mine different cryptocurrencies, whichever one is the highest. Uh, and then it'll convert it, your payout, convert it over to BTC, which is Bitcoin. Okay. So I am not technically mining Bitcoin. I am mining the altcoins technically, not Bitcoin. But it does convert it over to Bitcoin, which makes it pretty easy, you know. Um, so basically, depending what you have on your, on your mining rig, on mine, I have one CPU and I have four GPUs running. Okay, if I click on mining details, it'll tell me what it's mining technically. Um, and right now, with the rate it's going, it goes up and down depending on the actual um, rate of... Because cryptocurrency, guys, is like the stock exchange, except um, it never closes, right? It's going up and down like this, like every second, every minute, every hour, every day, you know what I mean? So it just de determines what's going on here. So it'll fluctuate between sometimes it'll go up to like $15. Um, sometimes it'll go like down to $10. But what that basically is your daily daily estimated earnings. So if I was to run this for about a 24 hour period, um, I would make about what? Well, it depends, nine to maybe $15, depends. Uh, so like I said, within the last um, um, 15 minutes or so, um, I've already made, you know, 28 cents. So, tw I, you know, I didn't have 28 cents 15 minutes ago, right? So that's pretty cool, you know? Um, so before I show you guys the mi actual mining rig, um, let me show you guys how this is really working here. It's pretty simple, guys. So, so we got the sun up there, right? And you guys see those solar panels down there? Those solar panels is what normally char that charges my, my batteries for my home. And this is how I have electricity at night from the solar. So free power, right? So most of you guys that follow my channel know that, you know, we're, we are not connected to the grid. We are probably 20 miles away from anything that's close to a grid <laughs> as far as um, electricity is concerned. So here's the benefits. For one, the sun you got the panels, right? You got your solar panels. So the, basically the way it works for me, guys, is um, at usually around 10 o'clock in the morning, 10.30 by the latest, my, um, what do you call it? Uh, my batteries are fully charged up, guys. And then from that point on until the afternoon, everything is just sitting in float mode. So when it's in float mode, basically it means, you know, you just, it, you have, technically you have all this extra power you could use, but it's not being used because the batteries are fully charged already. And that's with running my TVs and my um, laptops and the refrigerator and all that stuff, right? So um, luckily for me, I have more than enough solar with this small little setup I have to produce a lot of extra power that I can use for mining cryptocurrency. So it only makes sense. Right. And so I've been mining, like I said, guys, for about a year now and I've had no problems. Um, I get paid out. Um, well, I use, usually use Claymore, but I usually get paid out um, like every day or every other day. And it's I mean, it just depends on what the market is and what the price of that coin is or whatever. 
and I do usually only mine Ethereum on Claymore. Um, you can mine different cryptocurrencies and stuff. But I just wanted to share with you guys today. Um, you know, I've never shared these videos with anybody. And in the past, I've had some comments left asking me, do I mine um, any type of cryptocurrency with solar off the grid, considering I have all this extra power? And in the comment, I answered yes, but I never made a video about it. So here it is, guys. I'm making a video about it. Um, if you guys want more videos about this type of stuff, mining cryptocurrency off the grid, leave a comment you know that you guys are interested in it then maybe i can make more videos about it and if you guys aren't interested in it then i won't make any more videos about it um but yeah so basically um you know you can use different softwares or different whatever to mine different coins so for today's purpose i am using um nice hash miner i'm not telling you to use them or anything like that um it's really up to you what you want to use to mine with and stuff but as you guys can see here we are going up in our our change right now our cents right so we're at 29 cents right now um so it'll fluctuate quite a bit just depends what's going on out there right so now without further ado let me show you guys my actual mining rig okay let me go over here okay so this is my mining rig basically what this is guys is a computer but souped up on like steroids <laughs> that's the best way i could explain this because basically you have a you know your your power supply here this is what's supplying power to this unit right now uh and then you know you have your um your board down here your basic computer board basically um in my case, I, I when I built this, I picked certain equipment to build this. So um, you can build your, your mining rig any way you want. You can actually add many GPUs instead of just four. So I do have four GPUs. So one, two, three, and four right there. I just made a basic uh, aluminum frame to hold everything together. So that way it's an open air environment. Um, because these GPUs do get hot and warm. Um, from running so i'm um, trying to keep it um ventilated as possible to keep it cooler uh you get more performance out of it um i do have a wireless antenna here for wi-fi so this is running on wi-fi technically through this wireless antenna um and then right here i have sorry let me get down here so right here i have a plug for this little cheap junk um keyboard that i just throw around on the floor um it's just basically to enter different things when i need to change th some things around uh and then basically right here is the um wireless mouse uh, so that way i don't have to keep a wire plugged in you know i can just you know use a wireless mouse makes it a lot easier uh and then right here at the bottom you guys see another fan so every gpu has its own fan but the cpu also gets warm and hot so if you're mining with your cpu um you know you, you definitely want to make sure you have a heat sink on it and you also want to make sure you have a fan on it because it does get pretty hot and warm so um yeah and um with this power supply, it actually has a whole bunch of like LED lights and it lights up and it looks pretty cool. But I actually disabled all that because I just, I don't care about the fancy lights or anything, guys. I mean, that light on the board is just the stock light that says it's on, right? But, um, you know, I disabled all the extra power that this, this unit would be using because I only use this for mining cryptocurrency. That is it. I do not use it for anything else, guys. Okay, uh, and then basically it's got a basic, you know, um, switch here. So this switch is basically my on and off button for the unit. So if I was to press it right now, it would just go ahead and shut everything down and I could power off the whole unit from the, um, you know, power supply here. So um, this is my simple basic rig that I've been running with for, like I said, about a year now. Um, it does pretty well, guys. I mean, if you start to overclock your um, GPUs, you need to be careful about that because if you overclock too much... Uh, it it'll just shut down on you it'll just crash and then you're gonna have to reboot and then you know you got to play with overclocking a lot of you guys that are into the same thing like this you guys know what i'm talking about for a lot of you guys that don't know what that means is basically overclocking almost sounds like ex exactly what it sounds like so you have these gpus here right so you can actually go into the actual uh, there's a there's a program an afterburner program on your computer where you can go into the settings of these and you can actually turn up the fan speeds you can turn you can so much things you can do you can overvolt undervolt um <laughs> there's so much of stuff that you can adjust to make your gpus run the best as possible so um when i first built this like i said a year ago i played with um you know overclocking it and it is overclocked right now um but there's a limit to how far you can go and all that kind of stuff right it gets real complicated don't really want to get into all the details about that right now but 
Um, there's lots of ways you can increase the performance of your cards. That's basically the, the rundown on it. And then that's basically it, guys. This is my mining rig. Then I have on the first GPU, this cord coming out, this cable is a HDMI that is basically plugged into the back of my TV. So I'm using my TV as a monitor. So that way I don't have to go and buy a computer to, computer monitor when I can just plug it into my TV, right? So, yes, this is my basic uh, mining rig, guys. Um, you could definitely build a way better one, a way more expensive one. Absolutely, you could. You could have 20 GPUs. You know what I mean? You could have 50 GPUs. But you're going to have to increase a lot of different things, you know, boards and all this kind of stuff. But, yeah, it can be done, guys. It can be done. This is the <laughs> probably the most ghetto mining rig you're going to see. <coughs> but does it work? Well, let's see. It absolutely does work. So look, since we've been talking on, when I'm making this video here, you guys can see right here that we've gone up in the in the sense, right? So what? Let's see. This video's been running for almost uh, what 11 minutes now. Um, so yeah, I mean it does work, and it's free. You know, this is free money technically. So um, within the first year, I broke even on my uh, mining rig. So the key is, is that, you know, you're going to spend the money on all this equipment to build this thing. And then basically you're going to have to mine cryptocurrency. That's the whole purpose of this, right? Mine, a crypt mine your cryptocurrency until you break even on the cost of the mining rig. And then only after you break even on the cost of the mining rig will you actually start making profits. So yeah, I broke even on this mining rig cost um, a while ago. Um, so basically anything that I'm mining at this point is just basically now profit. 100% profit okay but I should point out something really quick if you guys are on the grid and mining cryptocurrency with which a lot of you are if you pay a lot of money for electricity costs in your area you might want to rethink um, you know um, mining cryptocurrency because the downside that you guys have is is not only do you have to break the break even on the investment of the mining rig but you also have to um, break even on the cost of your electricity that's going to cost to run these things so right now running nice nice hash miner i'm running about 500 watts um on this unit right now if i put it on claymore miner it, I, it'll bump up to like 630 watts um that's because i just have it um set up a different way <clears throat> so um, like in Hawaii, we pay, if I was on the grid, which I'm not, but if I was on the grid and I didn't have solar and I was just going to run this base, you know, just plug it into the wall and run on the grid, you know, 43 cents per kilowatt hour guys is a lot of, a lot of money for the electricity we pay here in Hawaii. Right. So, um, it wouldn't really technically make any sense for me to do that unless I had like some type of grid tied system and it, you know, all that kind of stuff. But for this video, guys, basically the way it works, guys, we got the sun right there, right? We got the sun going down into these panels right here at the bottom. And basically it goes through my inverter and my battery system and all that stuff under the house. And this is a very small system I have under my house, guys. If you guys want to see how small it is, um, definitely look at my older videos. You'll see the system. I kind of walk through it and kind of give you guys an overview. But it does work. So, you know, at 10, 10 o'clock, 10.30 in the morning when my batteries are fully charged, I turn on the mining equipment. And I start making some extra money. Why not, right? So look, we're at 33 cents now. So it varies. It definitely varies. It's a slow process. Um, but if you have the extra power and the equipment, why not, right? It just makes sense. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll basically mine on nice hash until I get paid out. And then I'm going to go right back to Claymore. Because Claymore, uh, miner, um, to me, um, is a lot better. Because if you use nice hash miner, guys... Um, they do take a percentage out um, for using their their platform or whatever. Um, but there's a there's definitely definitely some advantages to either one you're going to use. The advantage with this one is basically it'll pick any of the altcoins and mine those altcoins depending on the GPUs you have, of course. But and then it'll just convert it over to Bitcoin for me. You know, it tells me in USD and then it tells me in Bitcoin how much I've earned already. And then you know you can either hold on to the coin or um you can sell the coin and recoup your money or whatever you want to do you can do at that point you know so um for me mostly what i do guys is i'll just mine it and i'll throw it onto my um wallet and i'll just let it sit there and then if the price shoots up high enough then i i, I might sell some of it if not i'll just hold on to it or if i need the money or whatever it may be um i'll just cash out on it and use that money for whatever i need you know um you 
you're not going to make millions of dollars or anything doing this, okay? Um, unless you got like a lot of money and you want to build some big, big mining rigs. Um, and a lot of them, you're going to need a lot of capital to get that going. Um, but there's a lot of caveats. If you pay a lot of high cost electricity, you need to think about those things. But the point of this video is, can you mine cryptocurrency off grid? You absolutely can. The proof is right here, guys. Okay. We are 100% off the grid here. So, yeah, I mean, it does work. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, the one thing on, like, uh, Claymore Miner, the other mining um, platform, um, you, you, there's a computer, um, there's a web app or web that you can see how much you've earned and how well it's performing, f performing and stuff like that. And it also has an app that you can download. So a lot of times, like, um, if I have this mining at my home, you know, and I'm not home or whatever, I can easily log on to my the app on my phone and I can see how well my, my mining is going for me, you know? But basically, I kind of got a range of what it does and I don't ever check it anymore. I just let it run. And you can set the threshold of when you want to get paid out. So there is a minimum threshold. And, uh, you know, so if you, you know, there's, there's just basically a minimum threshold that you have to hit before you get paid out, okay? And, um... I don't want to go into all the details because it can get complicated on a lot of these different things here. Um, but yeah, it does work, guys. Can't beat it, right? But fr free sun power going into my panels. My batteries are fully charged. In fact, if I was to go downstairs right now, guys, my charge controller will still tell me I'm in float. Because, you know, they're fully charged. They've been fully charged. And I have enough solar coming in to keep up with everything that it doesn't make a dent on it. You know, even though I'm pulling a little, there's a little over 500 watts right now, it's not even making a dent, you know, because I got what, 1200 or whatever it is, watts of power out there, you know? So not only is it more than enough to keep my batteries float in float mode, but also provide me the extra power to mine with. So it's very cool. So like I said, guys, a little while ago, I didn't have 35 cents. Now I got an extra 35 cents. Not a lot, but something's better than nothing in the end, right? So... Yeah, guys. Anyway, if you guys like the videos, if you guys think this this was semi-educational or anything like that, please hit that like button. If you guys have any comments, leave a comment. Um, like I said, if you guys want me to make maybe make more videos, kind of going more into detail how it's all set up and all the more details of everything. I mean, you can get you can get deep in this stuff, guys. Um, you know, leave a comment and maybe I'll make more videos about it. And we'll go from there. If you guys are not subscribed, guys, subscribe. we got tons of videos coming up. My new power room that I'm building, guys, right now with the Tesla batteries... You guys wait until that system is done, because once that system is done, uh, I want to have so much power, it'll be insane. And not only that, you know, I can continue mining cryptocurrency on the side. So, anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being a part of my channel. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next one.